everyone, this is Matt, I'm here with Phil. Hello! And today we're taking a look at Fire Weekly, the first three weeks of which, because we are a little bit behind. But Phil will explain everything about Fire Weekly right now. Exactly, yes. Fire Weekly, what is it? Well, each week we give you, uh, those members on the server, a choice of two themes, a main theme and an optional theme. You then have one week to build that theme. So the current theme for this week is a tower and the optional theme is a waterfall. So we announce the themes on Sunday. You then have seven days to finish it. Once the, all the builds are finished, we will then judge the builds. And then the top three will be featured in a video similar to this, but not as long because we're doing some catching up this week, like Matt said. And then they will also be put on our website on the Fire Weekly Gallery, which will be going up soon. So hopefully that's explanation enough, but you'll see it once we go and have a look at it now that we are in game. Yep. So this is the Fire Weekly World. The world of events. I can get here with slash warp theme, I believe. Phil just disappeared. Sorry, sorry, I went off very Hello. quickly. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. So, so you can do uh, slash warp theme if you are on yeah. the server. And then once you're here, you can either walk down that way and look at some of the old builds, or you can go through this portal to go to the current theme, because they're all stacked together and it's actually quite a way off in the distance now. But yeah. Yeah, let's um, let's let's take you through some of the ones, you know, that we've had previously. So if you go over here, when you warp theme, I went behind the sign, you can look at Winner Avenue. <gasps> Gonna well, go. I think uh, as we walk over here, it's a, it's a pretty interesting thing. I'm going to just stop you singing there. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. Avenue. Yeah, because we haven't really done anything like this, and we've always wanted to do something like this for the server, but now it's something where if you're a server member, you can just take part. Every single week you get a different theme, an optional theme, theme like Phil said, and We've already had three weeks uh, throughout February, so this is kind of the catch-up where February's going on. We've been very busy with uh, a lot of other projects so that you'll see start trickling out throughout March. But, uh, yeah, this is the first section here. So this uh, theme is Fantasy uh, Tudor Houses, and uh, yeah. this was when it ran. So it was pretty early February is when it started. So the, uh, the main theme was Fantasy Tudor Houses, and this is what we see here. Yeah, so... What we do is, like, you may notice a repercussion in names as well, because a couple of the core guys on the server have um, repeated it. So this one is by a member of the blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, this is the sort of stuff that, you know, just happens weekly. And the thing I love most about this is that it allows people to try out new styles, but they can also, you know, give tips and stuff like that to other builders who maybe aren't as confident in that theme. Uh, but also, if you don't know it, it means that you can come in and go, oh, I like what they've done with that, but... Yep. <laughs> I'm the thingy grinding the wheat. Yes, yes, this is the spinny thing, whatever that is. Beautiful. So, uh, yeah, this theme, obviously, this was uh, Tudor Fantasy, and this is actually the winning uh, build for that week. Um, everyone yeah. really loved this one. We thought it, it, it stuck to the style quite well. Yeah, and, it was uh, really it cool. Like, it's got interiors stuff. and stuff as well. I mean, uh, we get different judges each week, and, you know, we normally just, you know, give our individual scores, correlate that together and see who wins, but... You know, we're, we're looking for, you know, closeness to the theme. Nothing too strict. It's all fairly casual because we don't want it to be too tight a competition. It's the more important thing is to, you know, it's the building. You know, you want to come in and you want to build something, feel a little bit like, okay, I can just go and do whatever. I love the duck on this one. The little flying duck. The little flying duck. <laughs> so this is uh, Damascus Build again, still a fantasy tutor here. This is the second place winner. He's got quite a lot of verticality on his build. He's got a little... Nice interior here, everything. But I think the the really impressive thing is the height of this build and the actual. Oh yeah, the, like the we said, we have forty-seven up. by forty-seven blocks, but there's no restriction on the height. So we've actually noticed that already a lot of people are using the height to try and get as much into their build as they possibly can. Okay, so yeah, that's really. Let's cool. move on to number three. And number three on this one, this is Regcor. Yeah, Rikor's build Rikor, and uh, Rikor, Rajkor, Red, Red, yeah. What I really, really <laughs> love about this is the little golem underneath who looks a little bit like Loki from the Avengers with his little yeah, horns. Yeah, he does actually. Kind of holding it up, it looks really badass. I really like is that. He, is he up all night to get Loki? Wow, that's uh, <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, I, I, a, I stole nice. that one from Loki himself, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really like this tower. It's, it's, you know. It is very fantasy. I mean, I think the reason why this didn't actually score higher as much as I absolutely adore this build is I, I imagine it's because it didn't feel tutory enough, but it was still good enough. Because obviously there's two parts of it. There's the fantasy section and then the Tudor section. And yeah. the other builds above this have kind of mixed those better. And this one, I suppose, is uh, a little bit too 
uh, yeah. fantasy, but I absolutely love it. It's a really cool build. But it's always interesting to see like how the overall scores end up. Like, there's a build I think that's a clear winner, and it might not be because there's other people looking at it as well. But yeah, and then you can okay. see on the other side here. These are all the optional. Uh, themes. What we've done for this one is because not as many people are going to build on the optional one as the main one we found. Uh, we only have like a you know one winner for that, and then the other builds that are here are just notable builds. So those are just ones that you know the judges really liked, and if we were giving up positions, they'd probably be in second or third. But uh, yeah, the first place one is uh, by Butterstool90, a uh, long-term member on fire, and I really like this one because it's just I, I rarely see an autumn tree like this. It's you know, a nice, unique. It is very cool, tree. and it's uh, yeah, yeah, it's very cool, and it's uh, all about um, organics. This was an organic tree build, so you can mm. see that all three builds are organic trees, but they all kind of have a different style to them. Yeah, and, and I really like them. Birds and yeah. mushrooms. I really like this blue bird. It looks like the Twitter logo or something. Oh. I like it. It's tweet, like it's carrying all our tweets behind. Lovely. At like, it's, like, it's like Hogwarts, well, but with like Twitter birds. <laughs> well, <laughs> and uh, as the world has turned tonight, let's uh, transition through here into Dirt Houses, which was uh, another builder choice in February. Yes. And uh, Nemesis is actually the winner of this one. Um, and he designed this really cool little hobbit hole. Look at this. Yeah, no, with a theme for it, was, uh, although we have it on Dirt Houses... A lot of people can interpret that in their own way, and when we said, you know, dirt, you know, dirt houses, dirt homes, home in the dirt, and then people just went for hobbits. Can you, can you okay there? Can you get in the gate? I had to, I had to fly up. I used my Gandalf stick. Well, it's a hobbit stick. gate, so yeah. I mean, realistically, you would just be able to stand over that, you know. Yeah. True. But I love the interior for this. It's very, you know, in a hole under the ground. You know? Where's the table with all the dwarves? Uh, there. Oh, wow, if, okay. I don't know if that's actually where it is supposed to be, and I think uh, it's lacking enough yeah, food, but go. yeah. I'm just going to sit here. Shall we start throwing plates around and do the singing? <laughs> yeah, just what we're gonna throwing do? food among the table, yeah. In the it's very cool. Back there. But yeah, no, it's like nicely it. laid out, and you know, when you are dealing with such a short space, you do have to try and cram things in. But dirt houses is something that we've never done at Fire UK. I mean, no. it's not something we'd ever really it, it's, considered. It's strange but... considering the stigma that comes with it. You know, oh, I built a dirt house today, you know, and then this sort of stuff comes along. But So yeah. number two uh, for this week was Dark Assassin, who also did a Hobbit-style uh, house here. Yes, yes, more Hobbit homes. Uh, it wasn't as... Uh, it was still pretty highly uh, loved between the judges, but I feel like... Nemesis has just worn out slightly, but I mean, it's a pretty cool build. I, again, mm. this idea of doing Hobbit holes in Minecraft, we've seen them being done, but I mean, this is very cool. I love the how everything is just connected in this. It's very nice. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I'm a, you know, we're huge fans of, you know, Tolkien work here, you know, Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, other stuff as well, you know, less notable works, and it's just nice to see it in the game that we spend so much time building in. Yep. And moving on, number three is by... Uh, Stead, Stead. <laughs> as, I, as I edge over, Stead, <laughs> uh, who built this huge tree, and yeah. the house is underneath it, which is very cool. Again, it's still using dirt as a primary, you know, the grass and the dirt, but the uh, the tree is a nice little addition. It's kind of Hobbit holy again. Uh, yeah. I might show uh, you guys some of the, like, when we cut away to the different camera shots, I might show you guys some of the actual full lane of builds, so you can kind of get an idea of some of the other dirt houses and dirt things that were built that yeah. are not included in the three. Because it would be nice to just show you guys uh, who just view the channel, our subscribers, you know, what kind of other things some of the members build. So, I'll, yeah, I'll show you you'll see a lot of unfinished ones as well, but that's purely because people start off something and then realize, oh no, I've got schoolwork or something. But, you know, there are, you, you, there are a lot of people that just slowly eat away bit by bit, day by day, and then they end up with something like this, and it's really cool. Yeah. So, uh,. For this uh, week's uh, challenge that happened when we did Dirt Houses in February, we also had uh, airships as the optional theme, and uh, we had the runners-up as a jelly for me with this really cool hot air balloon, and uh, right here, I believe this was Predator, yeah, Pred, uh, who built this really cool, uh, like, bird airship, it reminds me of something from Assassin's Creed, you know, the uh, oh, yeah. Leonardo da Vinci device. <laughs> Yeah, one of Leonardo's crazy contraptions. It looks so cool, though. I really. If you want to if you were on a long air flight, you know, surely rather than just being in like a metal box with wings, you'd rather be in something that actually had flapping wings. That would be so. I mean, cool. that would be that would be my preference anyway. But it'd probably be a bit shaky, but it'd be very cool. But it would be adventurous. 
It and then be... right here, uh, we have uh, Rikor's uh, kind of bird ship, as I call it, because it kind of looks kind of birdy. I mean, but it looks I really like a goldfish. Like it. like a... Oh, yeah, it's like a bird and a fish mixed together. <laughs> I really like it. Yeah. I really like this fin on the back as well. It's very cool. It looks... Uh... Like some sort of exotic fish, I see that. We've now. built quite a lot of airships, but it's nice to see that people are still coming up with, you know, new designs and stuff like that because, you know, they just uh, they are kind of commonplace in Minecraft, but also not like they're very hard to get looking just right. I think. Yeah. But... Okay, let's move on to the theme which has actually just gone in the previous week. Uh, it was voted for on the previous Sunday. Oriental theme. Um... Yeah. Will not be judged this week due to lack of builds. Yeah, unfortunately, we the optional, optional theme for theme. it was statues, but uh, we only technically had two. One of which was oh, I remember tiny, now. and then yeah. one of them was a half-built statue of Notch. Um, yeah. So we decided not to to feature that one just because you know it would just be those ones. So I wonder if that's now because half terms over and everyone's back at at school again. Yeah, there's a factor on it as well with people lack, being so. active on the server. But yeah. Blah blah blah, winning first place again uh, with this one, which was actually one of my favorite builds that I've seen in quite a long time, just due to detail and just the general look of it and how accurate it looks as well. Like it fits. I mean, this we've plot done perfectly. we've done Oriental, haven't we? At Fike? we've done the Land of Akane timelapse, which is yeah. very red, you know, as a, as a thing. But this uses kind of darker colors along with the reds and then the white edging to yeah. really create something quite quite different. I love the brickwork on this, the white brickwork as well. I think that was something that I really liked seeing. Do you uh, want to smash the front door open for me, like Hulk? Uh, I, I will. Oh, hang on. I will. Uh, I will do that. Right Everyone now. ready? Hulk smash. Hulk there we go. <laughs> Phil smash. Right, we'll copy that inside. in later. We got it back up with this. It's fine. Yeah. But yeah, this is this is the interior, and just wow. You know. It is very cool. It's it's very detailed. There's a lot of really cool things going on in this build, and. You can see why it won first place in Orient. Yeah, there's something downstairs well for like a, a training gym and stuff like that. It's just, yeah. It's very really cool, cool stuff. <laughs> okay, so moving on here. This is uh, Zajulius' build, which I believe he named like a little slice of a car now, something like that. It's almost like an intersection, like where you just see a small section of a build. And he, he used the style that we created in Akane to create something very similar in design, but something quite different at the same time. And it really turned out quite unique. Yeah, I, I, I love really how like you can see, like, it is as though you just, you, you cut a piece out of it and then just place it somewhere else. Like, you, know, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't think that this is actually an original build. You would think that we just copied a part out of it, but... Every single thing is original. It's very cool. Everything is original. Nothing is unoriginal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the third place winner for uh, the previous week's uh, Oriental theme was Damaster, who built this crazy kind of very vertical again... Uh, on fire oriental build where there's like houses over here all being destroyed because of these dragons kind of looming above and it's uh, it's very cool yeah i love how you know he always seems to manage to get that you know a dragon inside that small plot and even when you look at the one at the top here it's only got like a cut off so it's still in there it's just the top of the dragon you can actually like see inside its you know throat and the fire and stuff like that it's very cool. It's got that very detail cool. and stuff in it, but yeah. Okay. And then after that, it's a blank. It's, Who could it be? It's a blank canvas. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this is it, really. So we've already opened up building for the, the well, the next week, which is started, which is uh, actually towers is the main theme and waterfalls is the optional theme. So if you're a Fire UK server member, you know, go click on the uh, the link in the description and get involved and uh, come on the server and, and build something cool because it's it's going to be interesting to see and again we're going to try to do these videos every week or every week or two and kind of merge some weeks together and stuff um but hopefully this will become kind of a weekly thing that you guys look forward to seeing what the guys on the server has been building and maybe some of the things that we build will influence future time lapses and you'll get little sneak peeks to the future of what we're working on exactly it's it's a nice open thing and everyone is welcome to come on and take part in that on the server so yeah Go have a look at the gallery, keep checking out the videos, and we'll hopefully see you in-game. Yep. See you. See you guys see next you. time. Bye! Goodbye!